Hello everyone, this is Corey Wood from the Chaos Group. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the power of V-Ray RT and V-Ray 2.0 for SketchUp. Let's go ahead and start V-Ray RT. Notice that V-Ray has to first transfer to the SketchUp scene. In most cases, this process is very fast. Complex scenes like this one will only take a few seconds. As soon as a scene is transferred, V-Ray RT starts rendering directly to the V-Ray frame buffer. By default, V-Ray RT will use our available CPU hardware to render. However, if you have a GPU-powered graphics card in your system, you can also harness the power of GPU rendering. As you can see, the image in the V-Ray frame buffer is always changing and the image quality gets progressively better over time. If you make changes to your camera, RT instantly updates. This interactivity really makes the design and visualization process much more efficient and fun at the same time. Let's imagine that we're sitting with our client to prepare some images for a presentation. We first want to focus on setting up a camera view for an exterior image. We'll adjust the camera until the client is happy with the point of view. Once we get the desired camera view, we'll save it by updating the scene tab in SketchUp. As you can see in this case, V-Ray RT in CPU mode is quite fast and very simple to use. Let's stop V-Ray RT though and restart using GPU CUDA mode. This is the RT mode that will take advantage of your GPU powered graphics card. What's impressive about V-Ray RT in GPU mode is that it can be up to 30 times faster depending on your graphics card. Just imagine how quickly you can review camera views, material options, lighting options, and make other decisions about your project with this kind of performance increase. Let's get back to making some more decisions with our client. Now that we agree on the camera view, our client wants to adjust the illumination of our scene. I'll adjust the date and time until we achieve the desired result we're looking for. Once we're happy with the illumination, we can simply update the scene tab again to save our changes. Let's set up an interior view for our presentation. With V-Ray RT, this is very simple to do. I'll select the interior scene tab. Notice how fast V-Ray RT gives you instant feedback of the interior space. Of course, the exposure is not correct because we are using the same camera exposure settings we used for the exterior view. We can quickly fix this by taking advantage of the new V-Ray camera presets. I'll use the interior natural light preset. Notice how the exposure changes automatically update our image. Now let's fine tune the sun position based on our client's feedback. We can make adjustments, see the changes, and we can quickly get the results we're looking for with V-Ray RT. It's absolutely amazing how fast and easy we can switch from different lighting scenarios to meet the needs of our client. Now that our client really knows how V-Ray RT works, he wants to see a simple night shot. First, I'll go back to the scene we saved for the daylight exterior shot. Then I'll need to change the camera exposure. I'll choose the after sunset preset. Again, notice how the exposure changes automatically. Now I want to change the time of day to an evening time and adjust our sun angle. Now that I'm happy with this, I'll update the scene tab again. We've added an option to freeze the RT view. To freeze the RT view, we'll click on the blue pause icon in the V-Ray toolbar. Now you can orbit the SketchUp view, and as you can see, the RT view does not change.
Let's add some interior lighting. I'll zoom in and simply open up one copy of our light component that we have set up in our scene. And I'll turn on the sphere light. My sphere lights have a warm color that is typical of a night shot. What's great about this is that I've also updated all the other lights where I've used this component. The final adjustment that I want to make is to have all my vertical lines parallel, which is typical of a good architectural photograph. I'll adjust the lens shift value to correct perspective distortion of the camera. Then I'll update my scene tab one last time to save our changes. So that's it. We're ready for our presentation. We've made several decisions about our project and our client is very happy. As you can see, VRT is a very powerful interactive rendering solution that will revolutionize your visualization and design workflow. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you enjoy VRT.